to determine the pH of HCl acid of different concentrations using pH paper, universal indicator solution. Acids are substances that produce free hydrogen ions, H positive ions when dissolved in water. Bases are substances that produce hydroxyl ions, OH negative ions when dissolved in water. Acidic solutions are rich in hydrogen ions and basic solutions are poor in hydrogen ions. Ma'am, how can we identify the pH of a solution? The acidic or basic property of substances is measured in terms of pH. It is a measurement of the hydrogen ion concentration. pH is defined as the negative logarithm, base 10, of hydrogen ion concentration. pH is equal to minus log H positive or pH is equal to log 1 by H positive. Let's do an experiment to determine the pH of HCl acid of different concentrations using pH paper, universal indicator solution. Our aim here is to determine the pH of HCl acid of different concentrations using pH paper, universal indicator solution. The materials required are hydrochloric acid of different concentrations 0.1 mole per liter, 0.01 mole per liter, 0.001 mole per liter. pH paper, measuring cylinder, universal indicator, test tubes, glass rod, test tube stand, etc. Procedure Using universal indicator solution, take three test tubes and fill two ml each of different concentrations of HCl acid. Now, keep the three test tubes in stand. Now, add two to three drops of universal indicator in each test tube. Note the change in color. Compare the color with indicator chart. Mention it in the observation table. Using pH paper. Use a dropper and put 2 to 3 drops of HCl in 3 different pH papers marked A, B, C and note the color change. Observations Concentration of HCl Universal indicator Color Approximate pH pH paper Color Approximate pH Calculated pH pH is equal to Minus log H positive 0.1 M, 0.01 M, 0.001 M. Result. pH of the given acidic solutions are 0.1 M is equal to X, 0.01 M is equal to X, 0.001 M is equal to X. Precautions. Equal number of universal indicator drops should be added in each test tube. The color of the solution should be matched very carefully with the pH chart. The pH paper should be kept at a safer place so that it may not get affected by the other laboratory reagents. Thank you ma'am for this knowledgeable experiment.